In this video, we are going thrifting and I'm showing you how to shop secondhand for craft supplies and materials. You are watching Creative Ramblings where you will find new craft tutorials every week. So if you're a crafter, consider subscribing and join the community. Sourcing craft supplies and materials secondhand is a sustainable way to create and will save you money. Let's jump in. So I'm about to take you shopping in one of my favorite thrift stores, and we are going to source some craft supplies and materials that are going to save you money and also help you craft sustainably. Um, before we head in there, let me give you my number one tip for thrift store craft supplies. Uh, know your local thrift stores. Know what's out there. I have a lot in my area, um, thrift stores, secondhand shops, consignment stores, and they are not all created equal. So head out to your local thrift stores. Know what's out there. I like this one because it is really well stocked. It is organized and it has a lot of the items that I'm looking for. So definitely something to keep in mind. Also source your local online resources. Facebook Marketplace is great in some areas. Craigslist, eBay, just know what's out there. Now, let me go show you some specific items that you want to keep an eye out for. The number one item I source at secondhand stores are blanks. Sift through the clothing department to find plain cotton shirts. Oftentimes the well-worn material bonds so nicely with iron-on. Look for solid colors, no graphics, and clean fronts. Tote bags, purses, and zip pouches can be found with little to no wear on them. These are ideal for iron-on too, or even adhesive vinyl. Look for items that have a large flat space and can be embellished or turned into something unique just for you. The mug section is always full at this particular store. Sift through the colorful options in search of blanks. This white one is one of a kind, but it will take vinyl beautifully. The same goes for tumblers. Plastic cups, especially those with straws, can be a little beat up. Look closely for something that's in really good condition. This one looks brand new. I can add rhinestones or vinyl to dress it up. Glassware. Every thrift store I go into has a huge selection of glass. Vases, cups, wine glasses, and jars are abundant. A unique looking glass, jar, or vase can be etched with initials or a special phrase and given as a gift. Glass items are really easy to clean, and unless you see a chip, these are often in excellent condition. Heading over to the art wall, I like to look for canvas. Art like this can be painted over and give you a fresh start for a unique piece of art. You can also look at wood pieces like this, or even frames from glass art. Heading over to the craft aisle, look for supplies like paint, paper, and stamps. Look closely at these items, make sure they're in good condition, and all of the pieces are there. Sealed paint that doesn't look separated is often a really good deal. Same with paper pads and stamps. You can also find wood blanks like letters or small figures that are great for embellishing. One thrift store I really like has a nice selection of yarn and fabric. Today, there are even rolls of home decor fabric. This is such a score. Check your favorite spots frequently because this inventory changes often. Floral items for wreaths and centerpieces can be a great find. Most stores have at least one section or aisle with this type of item. My last tip is to check seasonal sections. Even thrift stores have sales. They need to make room for the next holiday and want to clear out last season. Tins can be painted and covered to create nice looking storage. Wreaths or wreath forms are an amazing deal that you can customize and they will go fast. You can also look for ornaments that can be customized for next Christmas. Same goes for Easter, Halloween, or 4th of July. So these are some of my tips for shopping for thrift store craft supplies. Here's a bonus tip that you need to keep in mind. A thrift store is not likely to have the same exact item that you're looking for. Broaden your creative idea while you're shopping and be open to a slightly different color or style. On this trip, I picked up a thick, comfy sweatshirt to add iron on to, instead of buying a new, cheaper blank from the craft store. 
I encourage you to get to know your local stores and check back often. You can save a lot. And buying secondhand keeps items out of the landfill and brings them new life. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll be back with more thrift store craft ideas soon. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching.